Hi, my name is Craig Nasser. I'm the Practical Chef. I'm here in Cape Cod, Massachusetts. This is striped bass, and actually we went out on a, a good friend of ours boat, Captain Willie, who we've known here since we were ch children, and we caught this on his boat. One of the reasons I chose Cape Cod in this special time while I'm getting married and vacation with family and friends was because I'd have the opportunity to use really, really fresh fish and really show you how to really do it really nicely on the grill with a very, very, very light marinade. I have some fresh ginger here. I have some fresh garlic. I have a little green onion scallions. I'm going to use a little bit of lemon, um, a little bit of a white onion, yellow onion, and also a little bit just some ground salt and some ground pepper. But basically, I'm just slicing the, the ginger thin. You can give it a kind of a rough chop. Same thing with the garlic. I kind of just give it a really th as thin as possible slice. A little bit of a rough chop. Nothing. This is actually just to add a little bit of flavor to the fish. Just to get some really fresh fish and be able to cook it, it's just a phenomenal thing. It's really enjoyable. And my family likes it because I get to cook and they get to eat. So <laughs> it's a win-win for everybody. What I do with this, and you'll see when I put it onto the grill, um, I add a, actually add a little bit of this on the top and it actually caramelizes in the grill while I'm cooking. I'm going to give it a little bit of lemon juice. Not a lot, just a little. The acid from the lemon juice helps the marinade infuse into the fish a little bit. Let's give it some salt and pepper on it, a little on the top. What I like to use is a little uh, little bit of extra virgin olive oil that I'm going to put in there. That's going to help also, it's going to coat the fish. It's also going to help the fish not to stick to the grill. Um, I already started the grill, I already got the grill heated up. So um, that's, we want that, when we initially put the fish in, we want it as hot as possible so that the fish won't stick to it. We're going to drop this on the, on the grill, like so. I'm going to close the lid for a moment. So, I had it there, I had it marked. The fish is very nicely, it's, it hasn't stuck to the grill. We give it a nice little flip. As you see, I got some nice marking on the fish. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of set this on the fish like this. And then I'm going to close the lid. And we're going to let this cook for a little while. Now, don't keep opening up the lid because you lose temperature. So, we got it down to a medium high on the temperature, so we're going to keep this lid closed for at least a good five minutes because I, I do know that I got a pretty thick piece of fish there and it's going to take a little while to cook. So we're going to take this off the grill now. I'm just going to set it on a plate here. What I'm doing here is I'm going to taste a little piece myself. Now if you notice it's going to flake up nice but it's not overcooked, it's still nice and juicy. See it's nice and juicy how the fish is, which you, all that flavor is going to burst into my mouth. Let me have a taste of that. Mm. Mmm, phenomenal. The flavor of the fish is so unbelievable. It's blowing up in my mouth. I get a little hint of the ginger, a little hint of the garlic, a little bit of the onion, but I taste the fish, and that's the key, and that's what we want to do here. My daughter's over here with her friends up here at Cape Cod, and we're gonna have a little fish for them all to try. So here you go. I want you guys to Thanks, enjoy Dad. it and have some great fish. Thanks, Dad. Thanks. 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 I love this food. He's so good at cooking. All this fresh food and all this fresh fish I get to cook, it's a great thing. And the greatest thing of all is I get to do it all on my bare feet.